I think what's happened is everyone's um, in this modern day and age. We've all kind of we kind of tailored the religion to our to our own needs, yeah. Because we don't obviously as Muslims, we're not we're not we're not trying to be like that, but we're trying to lead a good example. You see, so, my friend, how you how you can be the good example of anything if your prophet is the worst example of mankind? With my respect to you, I'm not trying to insult you, insult you, but I'm saying to you what I believe. You're not insulting me. Yeah. So how we, how you, if I am, if I am a Muslim and you are a Muslim, how we can, how Islam can be the best example for us if the Prophet himself is a rapist? You well, know, imagine well, if the best example for us, he married children. Do you, do you like to marry children, uh, Adam? Do you like to marry children? No. Do you like to have a, a wife? She is six years old. Like, okay. What is the best example on that? What Muhammad is teaching us. When he is 54 years old, marrying a child, she is six years old. He's not really teaching us anything, to be honest with you. No, no, he's teaching us. No, he's teaching us. He's teaching us faith. He's teaching us to be perverted people. He's teaching us not to be right. And uh, remember, when I say things, I don't mean to insult. Bro, please, don't, don't no, think I'm insulting. Never, okay. Imagine no, a guy at the age of 54 come to ask for your sister, and she is six years old. What you would do to us? I, um, I may kill him. So how do you accept Muhammad to be a prophet? Now, you as a Muslim, me mm. as a Christian, we spoke to the, together already. And yeah. you had the opportunity for somebody who is a Christian to clear things out to you. So now you are out of excuse to say, oh, nobody told me. That's true. So there is no, no way to say, uh, here we go. We are talking to you for the last half hour or more. And you agree with me in many, many points. So based, based on the agreement, you know, we agree, we share the ground in many things together. So shouldn't we make a decision based on what we got? If you got the idea that Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God, he do evil stuff, it's obvious everything he stands for is false. Imagine I want to speak to you about morality, but I don't have it. I'll give you a speech about morality, but me, myself, I don't have it. The one who don't have it, he cannot give it. Hmm. In order hmm. for me, in order for me to speak to you about holiness, I have to be holy myself. Yeah. In order to speak to you, give you a lecture about honor, I have to be a person of honor. Muhammad is not a person of honor. Do you know the story of Muhammad going to his own son and he flirted with his wife? No, I don't. Imagine my dad come to my house while yeah. I am not there and then he flirted with my wife. Hmm. What kind of a father this father is? You know what I mean? Yeah. So Muhammad to be a person who want to teach me about God, shouldn't he first ask himself how to teach himself a small good manner that if you go to your son's house, you should not do this? Not only a son. Let us say, let us say I am a person who claim to be a Christian. Then I go to your house and I flirt with your wife with my respect to her. What kind of a Christian I am? I invite you right now to denounce Islam, to reject Islam. And if you have a question for me about Christianity more, I will be happy to answer you, my friend. I will be happy to hear from a smart person like you who is born of a Muslim family to accept that Muhammad no way can be a prophet and that it will be the good start for you to be a new person and then we can search maybe the Messiah is a true maybe he's not you know instead you have to make decision but you don't you don't you don't you just admit it and you just agree that Muhammad can't be a prophet you did not say it clearly but you did say that you said that already I don't know if you saw the hadith I was showing you that your prophet he said that when you go to heaven, Allah will make your penis will never sleep. Do you see a hadith in front of you on screen, my friend? I don't, but I'm following him. Okay, it says, Muhammad taking an oath saying, there is no one whom Allah admit to paradise, but Allah will marry him to 72 wives, two from the Huris and 70 from the inheritance from the people of hell, all of whom have desirable front passages, which means, Muhammad Allah even describing for us that those women are special imported from hell. Do you know what does that mean? Why does like what do you think about why those women Allah will take them from hell? Why they are coming from hell? Because they because they're the dirtiest. Because they are what? The dirtiest. Because they are hookers. They are they are yeah. they are expert. Yeah. They are expert in sex. So Allah will choose for you mm -hmm. from the hell, yeah. from the warehouse of hell. The best of the okay. hookers who they are very good in all the skills of sex we don't have to give details and now he described to us that they are very beautiful to the point you will be crazy when you see their boobs and their vagina except excuse my language 
No, he's, he's what fine. kind of a prophet he said that? And look what he continues saying. And he will have, he will have a male member which will never become a flaccid, i.e., soft limb. How this is can be a prophet of God speaking to me about heaven of God saying to me don't worry be happy Allah will provide you with penis will never go sleep because it's made from concrete and the women Allah will go to the warehouse of hell and he will import for you the best women in sex from hellfire denounce this garbage man this is this is not for you you are smarter than this you are honorable man you cannot be a person who belong to this so why do I belong do you want to belong to Muhammad after what you heard Yeah, but I can't say to you, I can't say to you them words and then then go to my community and pretend that I never said this. We'll say it, it's, you know, it's, uh, you want to go to the community, you say to them, you want to be a hypocrite? I don't want to be a hypocrite either. So? You are worried about your community, but you are not worried about mm -hmm. your honor. You want to you wanna, you wanna fool yourself, say this. So you are saying to me, okay, I agree with you. Muhammad is a false prophet. Obviously, this is devilish. Cannot be from God. But because I have a community and I have to make them happy with me, I'm not going to say that. Yeah. But that means I accept with my respect to you to be a hypocrite. Yeah. So now you believe that Muhammad is not a prophet, but yet you want to say to them, Muhammad is a prophet, just because you don't want to make them, make them sad. But but that, you know, you will respect, respect yourself. It's up to you, you know. So denounce Muhammad, say, be a man. And I'm sure you are the man. Denounce him and say, Muhammad can't be a prophet. There is no way I'm going to follow such a man. Okay. Uh, Muhammad cannot be a prophet. I accept that. Yeah. I mean to that. Wonderful. I'm so happy for you, my friend Muhammad. Or Adam, sorry. And, you know, I'm happy for you that you make a decision. I want you to step back and think about what is next. What is the best to follow? Maybe nothing is best to follow. Maybe stay an atheist. Or maybe the Messiah, who is no name like him, and no name better than him. He never say false, he never speak sin, he never do sin. The one who is above the heaven and the earth, the one who did miracles, which is amazing. The one who says something nobody can say, love your enemy. So I am inviting you right now to accept my Lord, the Messiah, to be your savior. I'm not forcing you to accept it, because in Christianity, you have to be reborn again there's nothing it's called born of a christian family we don't believe in that you have to be reborn again with the christ which means you have to make a decision of your own that i am adam who was a muslim and now i denounce the devil i want to accept the messiah as my savior as my personal god that is a personal choice you make not something you inherit we are not muslim we don't believe in that so if you mm. want to accept the Messiah, I invite you right now. I have the honor to present to you the best name of the good God, which his name is amazing. His name is the Messiah. If you like to accept him, feel free to say, I accept. I accept. Amazing, I mean, I mean, hallelujah, hallelujah. Today, my friend Adam, there is a there is a happiness in the heaven. The Bible says, when a person, one person is saved, there is a happiness in the kingdom of God. Imagine how much loving God He is. While Muhammad is busy killing, chopping heads, killing people just to please His God, our God said that the happiness will be in the heaven of God just because you, Adam, now. You accept him so my friend Adam I'm so happy to have you today as my guest I believe that the Lord he sent you in my way and the Lord he sent me in your way so me and you we can witness for him and the Lord the Messiah he said every two of you say my name I will be the third Jesus right now is with us he heard you he heard me and today from today you are a child of God <laughs>